In Claiborne County, Governor Greg Abbott has ordered flags be flown at half staff to honor senior Kingsville Police Patrolman Sherman Benish. Officer Benish was shot in the line of duty on Monday in Kingsville and passed away Thursday. Now, word of his passing soon made its way across the state Thursday afternoon. Law enforcement officials from all over leading a procession as the officer's body was taken from Corpus Christi, where he had been hospitalized to a funeral home in Kingsville. The tragic situation, I mean, you, you hate to, you just hate to see this. The, the officers out here, you know, protecting the public and uh, things like this happen, it's just real bad real sad. Well, I'm with Nueces County Sheriff's Office and he's with Kingsville. We're still brothers and law enforcement and, and uh, you know, we're just God's children out here doing what we can. The governor says flags will fly at half staff until the day after Officer Sh Sherman Benish's burial. And the man accused of shooting Officer Benish remains behind bars. 40-year-old Alfredo de Leon is charged with three counts of capital murder of a police officer. Today, dozens of people showed up to the Kingsville Police Department to donate blood in Officer Benish's honor. The blood drive was organized earlier this week to help replenish blood used in the treatment of Officer Benish's injuries. There are two more scheduled for Monday and Tuesday of next week. And um, between these three drives, we have 140 appointments booked. So we have had an awesome um, outreach of just people wanting to give back um, and to give in memory of our police officer. Now, all the blood collected during this drive will stay right here in the Coastal Bend to help patients in need. The Coastal Bend Blood Center is always looking for more donors, saying they need to save more than 120 or see 120 donors every single day. 